Good day, everyone. My name is Norida Maslan. Yeah, I'm today going to talk about the next topic of agriculture and men. That is sustainable agriculture. Just to give back the background uh, of this story of agriculture, as the world population increase, and we need the modern agriculture to increase the food productions. And that is we call the industrial production. However, by these activities of industrial and uh, agriculture productions, it has a disadvantage, such as soil and water degradation. This is many stories or many reports have reported where due to the agriculture activities there are pollutions yeah agricultures uh, chemicals yeah uh, polluted the water resources we also have a problem where the soil erosion due to the agriculture land clearing and also one of the other disadvantage of the reduced biodiversity in the agriculture with the monocropping system we're going to have a reduced number of plants or the reduced number of varieties of crop available and due to that also we have problems they're going to have a problems of the uh, biodiversity in the insect the anthropods yeah on the ground and also due to this industrial productions of agriculture activities we depending more on the oil yeah, or fossil fuels due, uh, due to the usage of the machineries in agriculture activities therefore this is why it is important to have the sustainable agriculture activities and what is the definitions of agriculture is basically regarding the farming system that capable to maintain the productivities of agriculture uh, to society without causing irreversible damage to ecosystem health basically we want to achieve the production agriculture production to feed the world but at the same time we want to take care of the our ecosystem this is for the next our future generation so in sustainable agriculture they're going to have a three main goals that need to be achieved the first one is the economic development and then environmental conservation and finally is the social political benefits let me go for the uh, this, um, explain about what is the economic developments uh, need to be achieved in the sustainable agriculture basically economic developments we use the term that agriculture is business whenever people well, whoever go into the uh, agriculture business they want to make a profit uh, the first one is economic developments the economic developments basically we want to ensure whoever venture into agriculture they will gain profit with the term we always say that agriculture is business and what are the characteristics of this economic development that means the financial increase independence of the farms as a increase and also the debts of also reducing and certain countries yeah like even in malaysia where the government also gives subsidies to the farmers so if a farm is uh, sustainable it's supposed to be the subsidies are going to be reduced over the time and also within the sustainable agriculture over the time there are supposed to be reduced purchase of feed and fertilizer from outside of the farm okay how we want to achieve the economic developments 
in the sustainable agriculture. The first one is to ensure to select the most profitable ventures. Yeah, this is such as it is going to be the same as any other business. Yeah, well, before we want to venture, we have to do the research, market research. What are the uh, consumer trends, uh, current consumer trends? Yeah, what do they need? What is the government's uh, support item? Yeah. And this, and what are the prices that you can get for each of the produce that you're going to um, plant later on? With the good market research, of course, you have a good financial planning from the beginning of the proposal. What is the cost to uh, set up a farm on each of the produce? And what other uh, inputs are the inputs needed in the uh, venture? Then, after the produce, uh, the farm has uh, harvested, yeah, have produced, you have to think about what are the marketing plan. Most of the problem in the uh, developing and third world countries, farmers, they can produce the agricultural products. However, the problem is always where to market it. So, in a good sustainable agriculture, the farmers, individuals should know where to for them need to market their produce before they started their uh, ventures in agriculture. The second goal in the agri uh, sustainable agriculture is social political benefits. As the main is social, is always related to the human. Okay? In the agriculture, sustainable agriculture or in agriculture activities, many of the areas for the agriculture is around the rural area. So, this rural area, we have in the uh, many of the countries, the rural people have problems to look for the job. So, therefore, if a farm is open in a rural area, they give the uh, community a work uh, opportunity. Therefore, in social political benefits of sustainable agriculture, the agriculture activities provide not only for the farm family, farmers' families, but also to the community of the area. Just think about when a farm is open in an area, they're going to need a lot of inputs such as fertilizer, they need seed, and also they need a pesticide, and they need some like a basket too during the harvesting. So by buying all this input from their own community, this is also uh, a way to support the economic of the community. So, so this is just to show the photos of where the uh, sustainable agriculture benefits to the family and the community of the area. And the final goal of the sustainable agriculture is the environmental conservations this is going to be the most uh, the biggest uh, topic the biggest uh, goal in the ag uh, sustainable agriculture this is because in environment conservation we need to keep four ecosystem process in good conditions they are energy flow water cycle mineral cycles and ecosystems dynamics Okay, so talk about the energy flow. Think about what is the most cheapest energy that we can get. Then, basically, the energy, the cheapest energy you can get is from the sunlight. And this sunlight, we can use, get it for the, uh, call it solar energy. Every living thing needs sunlight to grow, especially plants. The crops need the sunlight for the photosynthesis. 
processes yeah so therefore it can produce the uh, corn and during this process you have like the corn being eaten by the uh, uh, poultry and then we eat the chicken so during all those uh, process we have energy loss the solar energy that we use are never can be recycled back okay. and we have to ensure that we have to ensure the maximum use we can maximize the use of this uh, sunlight or solar energy how we want to manage that this is how okay we are not allowed in sustainable agriculture do not let any empty area or empty ground in the farm make sure each of the area is filled up with crops they've been used for crop yeah you can use it by growing off-season cover crop use perennial vegetation and also intercropping yeah so the original wells of free uh, energy is from sunlight then we can produce and get it uh, return it into the wealth that is money in the photo you can see where the, uh, this is uh, an examples of intercropping and cover crop where you have a tapioca, tapioca and be planted with the some leafy vegetables on the ground yeah if you see carefully basically there is not no empty ground with uh, just the soils open uh, to erosions the second ecosystem that we, we have to keep is the we have to take care of is the water cycle we have to ensure in a sustainable agriculture we have to ensure there is an effective water cycle in the farm that means we have there is little soil erosion water whenever there is rain the water can be seen into the soil quickly and we have to make sure that the soil in the farm can store a large amount of water okay this photo just to show how the natural water cycle and many other water can be lost how we want to keep the water cycle system intact in the farm the first uh, uh, few methods that can be used is use the mulching system yeah and what is the mulching okay this is to show you what is a mulching system basically we cover the land uh, any bare land or bare soil with any crop residues and mulching can be used covered with the crop residues or can use a plastic yeah so as long as no bare soils being open and uh, can be uh, can be uh, what I call run off due to the uh, during the raining season and second ways is to minimize or reduce tillage when every time we do tillaging the soil particle being breaking down into the smaller particle when the soil is breaking down when it is a very high the rainfall then this soil can be easily erode yeah, into the water system and then the third method is using the cover crop and compost and manure this i'm going to talk later in this topic okay the third ecosystem uh, the third system that we have to keep uh, in the good uh, condition is the mineral cycle we have to ensure that mineral cycle in the farm is uh, keep recycling within the farm only well just look think about the crop that if in the farm we have the crop and the crop use we put input fertilizer input you know, in the crop 
and then we have an animal farm such a cattle or goats yeah we keep fed also yeah with the crop and the animal will give the organic fertilizer freely to the farm and after that of course we harvest either the plant and we also harvest uh, we uh, kill the cattle for human consumptions but anyway for the mineral cycle to be uh, cycled back in the farm you have to make sure the crop and the animals residues are going back into the soil in the farm this way we can reduce the need to get a fertilizer from outside the farm and also can reduce the feed from outside the farm everywhere everything is sustained within the farm itself okay and then the final yeah, system that we have to take care of is the environment conservation how well what is the uh, the effective ecosystem dynamics in the farm is we have to want, we want to ensure the high diversity of plants animal if uh, both the ground and below the ground and if uh, if you remember the topic of the biodiversity or agriculture biodiversity we talk about the importance of biodiversity in the agriculture okay why it is important to ensure the uh, high diversity of plants and animal because within the, these high diversities in the area it can stabilize the ecosystem is uh, in the farm therefore it can reduce the pest problem